Que pasa mi raza? You already know who it is. It's your boy, OG Gordo. Today is uh, February 16th, 2021. And uh, today I want to speak on uh, Cardi B. And uh, she did a very, very nice thing for an 11-year-old fan. I mean, that's the only reason why I'm doing this video. I thought it caught my attention. I thought it was pretty neat. And I like to hear positive uh, stuff like this, you know. And that's what I'm about. That's what my channel is mostly about. I mean, positivity. I try to push positivity as much as I can. I know this is an 18-year-old and above channel. I know I smoke and I drink on my channel, but that's beside the point. I still try to stay positive. Anyways, let's get into this. Cardi B made a wig for an 11 year old fan and her reaction has everyone emotional I guess everyone who was there who actually got to witness it it got them very emotional and um, it says Cardi tries wigs okay creating the perfect wig is an art in itself dive into process of creating wigs Together with Cardi. Posted by Cardi B on Tuesday, January 12th of 2021. And like I said, I always try to bring the most up-to-date stuff. I'm sure some of you guys have probably heard of this already. But if not, hey, cool. You know, now you get to hear about it. We knew Cardi B's uh, new Facebook series would bring plenty of laughs. But we weren't expecting tears. For sure we weren't expecting that. On January 21st episode of Cardi Tries. In which the WAP rapper embarks on a new experience. Outside of her usual skill set. Cardi learns the art of creating a wig. And gifts for her final product to a young fan and uh man i you know honestly that's pretty neat man um the rapper is joined by her friend kawaii and hairstylist and wig maker tokyo styles at giovanni and son human hair okay so uh i guarantee you these are probably the most top-notch wig makers out there or whatever you want to call it so that has to be something for a young 11 year old uh, young lady who's missing her hair you know that has to be a beautiful thing where the group is where the group is taken through the process of making a wig from brushing and hackling to weaving the pieces of hair together after completing the undertaking, which Cardi admits is much harder than it looks, she learns that a huge fan of hers will receive her wig. Wigs are expensive. And I know this my own self because my mother, rest in peace, um, passed away July 25th of 2020. So, and she, unfortunately, she did wear wigs, you know. Um, so I know that wigs can be very expensive. Unfortunately, you know, obviously my mother didn't buy these type, you know, expensive wigs, but they weren't cheap either. <clears throat> I'm uh, really happy that the wig that she made today with some help you know what I'm saying, is going to be donated. I hope it goes to somebody very special, you know. At the end of uh, the episode, 11-year-old Chloe unboxes the gift, and her stunned reaction is absolutely priceless. Once she gets over the shock of receiving a gift from Cardi, Chloe tries on the wig and starts to tear up. I mean, honestly, what 11-year-old little girl whose favorite 
singer, rapper, whatever, gives her her own hair. I mean, that has to be neat for a little girl, I would assume. Watch her sweet reaction in a full above. And catch the new episode of the show every Thursday via Messenger's new Watch Together feature. Where you can watch in real time over calls with friends on Instagram and Facebook. So Cardi does take the time. She does get on her Instagram and her Facebook. Which, man, is, you know, honestly, that's really, really neat. Because when do you ever hear of any... Any uh, rapper or anybody with that type of money, platform, however you want to put it, uh, in that caliber really takes the time to communicate with their fans and the people who do buy their music take the time to even write them a little something something. Um, it's very rare. Even nowadays, even with these uh, uh, up-and-coming um, rappers and musicians and uh, singers and stuff like that, um, I think a lot of it, what happens is they get a little bit going for them and it starts going to their head. And I've noticed that, unfortunately, just through my own uh, genre of music that I listen to in Chicano rap and it's sad to say because you know we're all supposed to be there to help each other build that platform and we all talk about unity and uh, and helping one another and being there for our people and all this and that but at the end of the day once they start making that little bit of money or they feel like they're above you or whatever, they can't even take five, ten minutes out of their day to even get on your level. You know what I'm saying? And believe me, I know because I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while. And I've had a few people that uh, had promised, you know, um, that they would do interviews with me. And they did it, which is okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. And I still don't hate on them. And I'm not going to say no names, nothing, or anything like that. But I still support them, man. I'm still out there hoping the best for them. Because that's just me. I'm not a hater, man. I'm not a hater. I am about helping my people. And it's good to see somebody like this doing things like that. Really com taking the time to communicate with her fans. And the people who really do support her. You know. I had did videos on a few people. Um, and we were supposed to. You know. Have. You know. Gotten. Do a, a, some shows. And unfortunately. You know. I'm starting from the bottom. Working my way up. I've never. Honestly. Never used a computer. In my life. Uh, I remember as a kid, yeah, the little black and green ones, you know. Um, but as far as using a computer, I never did. So all this stuff is new to me. And I would let the people know, hey, you know, I'm working on this, working on that, you know. Um, and I still don't knock them, you know. And hope I still wish the best for all of them, man. And uh, there's a few, a couple who still keep in touch with me. And, uh, you know, eventually I'm sure we'll get the uh, videos in. But there's a, a few other ones who, you know, they said yes and that was it, you know. And then uh, the, there was nothing after that, but which is cool. I understand. Like I said, I'm not a hater. I'm a congratulator. I want to see my people doing well but that's that's about it i just wanted to bring this short little story to you guys about that side of cardi b because i know a lot of people do see 
she just has a crazy attitude. She's out there, man. This girl is out there. She's, I mean, yeah, Cardi B, she's definitely something else. And that voice of hers, I'm going to be honest with you, gets on my nerves, but it is what it is, you know. But, hey, check it out. Do me a favor, man. Make sure you guys hit that like, that subscribe button. Make sure you guys drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this uh or doing that I think it's pretty neat myself I think it was uh it meant a lot to it meant a lot to this little girl and you know and that's the thing man for all of us we even start getting a small platform even a small one you know if you can make the best make the best of it and give back man even if it's to one or two people and that's all you can do you know, every now and then, give back, man, karma is real, and it does come back to you in ten folds, believe that, and another thing, always keep your word, that's, you know, I always live by that, I try to the best I can, you know, I'm not going to say that there hasn't been times that maybe I didn't keep it, um, but for the most part, I guarantee you, I've always kept my word. But again, none but love and respect to everybody out there. And gracias for supporting Roll Call State to State. I appreciate everybody out there. And, you know, none but love, man. You guys stay up. Have a good one. And I'm out.